going on guys and bestlers here just out my little workshop making some uh, baits today didn't have time to go fish really I got some stuff to take care of later on so I'm just out here making some baits um, been making these over the last few days red green black these ones are black and red these are black and red It's got three color to them. Throwing these on an owner beast hook. I'm just making these ones right now to mess around, messing around with the way that I'm pouring them. Trying to get like a marbled look of multicolor colors in there. Black, green, and red. Three of the main primary colors of uh, crawdads. Only thing I'm missing is brown. So when I throw these, I'm going to throw them on a, a jig, a big jig with like a brown skirt to throw that brown in there also. Maybe a little bit of purple or something just to entice the fish. So I have to set up here and show you guys how I'm doing this. Kind of tough. I only got one little burner here. I'm just gonna kind of go on with like random uh, colors marked a little mark here on my uh, plunger so I know how much to put in there so I'm not wasting color start off with a little red a little green touch of black Green. It's pretty dark green, but it, it contrasts pretty good with that black. And of course, the black is a lot of the recycle that I use, so it's got multicolored flake in it, which I really, really like. for a minute it's kind of tough running three colors at once with this uh, setup but I can do it so, yeah I just gotta let this dry for a second now, I always wear glasses when you're when you're using the plunger um, you want to use the glasses. I didn't put them on that time like a dummy. Uh, use glasses. I usually have my mask on. I just took my mask off. Um, so I could talk on the camera. I usually have my fan going. But I turned it off because it's noisy. Um, you want to have the glasses. Long sleeve shirt. I had an incident last year where I was using the plunger. and Because you're using pressure with hot liquid and pushing down the plunger and it popped out the side and got me on the arm and it burned me a little bit so I always wear a long sleeve shirt, gloves, glasses, and the mask just take care of the uh, smell. A few of the things I've made are making a bunch of wood baits. I got tons of plastics. I got boxes and boxes of plastics down here. I got some blue color here too that I'm going to be uh, experimenting with here. Greens. I got tons of molds, Senko molds. All right. Didn't really plan on filming today. I just kind of making a quick little video. See now this is all mixed together color. I'll just toss it in here, and it'll be melted down into the black. Usually try to go a few times with each uh, color before I throw them back in the microwave. 
I have a few other videos on uh, making plastics on my page too if you want to go check those out. make a lot of my own molds, plaster molds and stuff like that. I plan on uh, hand carving a lure here pretty soon. And then I'm going to try to get some stuff to actually make my own like big 10, 12 inch swim baits. Let's turn this down. We missed a little bit there on the back. So what I'll do with that, clip this guy off. See the back there didn't totally get filled in. So just set him back in that mold. Sometimes you get all those appendages back in there properly. Mess it up as I'm doing this. This doesn't happen very often, but when it does, you just stick it back together. Come with it. <laughs> Just topping off the back, really, all you're doing. That's how I'm making these uh, multicolored crowd heads. Pretty cool. Like I was saying, these, these fit perfect on like an owner beast hook or a, uh, <coughs> a jig. I mean, you can cut these off and use just that part of the body as a trailer you can see on here I made some other ones back in the day black and blue ones on my double buzz I mean that thing for for extra kick on the that man that you can't beat that I caught some decent fish on that thing so yeah that's what I'm doing today in bass layers messing around making some baits so I got a a little bit of blue mixed up now too. We got four colors going. Green. Blue. Black. Touch it red. The top part is where the claws are. The bottom is where the back is. So at the top, I try to do the claw color. A little bit. Each one's coming out different because of the way I'm pouring them in here, but it's all right. They come out pretty cool looking. show you what these ones look like a little bit of blues and greens and black they're all coming out different I like the marbled look a lot more than the uh, basic color change a little more natural looking when you got the blend like this I'm just kind of messing around with stuff to see what I can uh, come up with I like these blends they look pretty cool and you got some blue and black and green up in this Some of these like this one. It's got them blue on the feet. <coughs> Excuse me. Pretty cool, man. Let's pop this back and see what it looks like.
drop them in the water so when they cool off they keep their uh, shape and their form otherwise if you just throw them on the if I just tossed them over here it would uh, they can lose their shape pretty easy so I just toss them in some cold water let them sit there for a few minutes and then dry them off with a little rag here yeah, came out pretty good it's got some little bit of red in the claws and greens just like that marbly swirl look to it And crawdads have multiple colors. I've been catching crawdads since I was a little kid. I was like five, six, seven, eight years old. And I used to go down to the creek by my house and catch crawdads. And me and my friend would bring them all home and try to put them like in the backyard in buckets. Or one time we tried to fill up a wheelbarrow with water and put the crawdads in there. And got up in the morning, all the crawdads were all over my backyard. So I had to go pick them up one by one. And I just took them back down the creek, threw them in the creek. So, I don't know, it was just something I did as a kid. We didn't have any fishing holes, so we would just go fish for crawdads. We'd take a string with some bubble gum, toss it out in the water, and let the crawdad grab onto it, and you just drag them out of the water slowly, and they'll, and they'll hold on, man. It's a, it's pretty fun. I don't know, it's something we did as a kid down in the creeks because we didn't have fish over in this area, uh, in like Citrus Heights area. But if you, uh, if you, if we went out a couple times to like the, the creeks in Roseville where there's actual fish. And I caught some fish out there when I was a little, little kid, but I didn't really ever get into fishing until like about six, seven, maybe eight years ago. So I'm really getting into it. So I don't know, just a little story there. Anyway, for bass layers, I'm going to start uh, using a lot of crawdad baits. I do a lot of the big swim baiting and uh, like this guy right here, Jackal Gantrel. I like using the bigger, bigger swim baits. I've got a lot of like the Savage Gears puddle stand that I made a line through of my my own style on that I got a bunch of big stuff that I throw this <laughs> savage gear 12 inch you know I mean I, I catch most of my fish on Senkos which is funny but uh, yeah just like to make all this stuff just for fun and then you know eventually I'll get out and start tossing all these big baits here keep making these these things are fun to make so these paint jobs are pretty badass Anyway, from Bass 2018, just making some baits. Let's start making some more videos. Make some more Mighty Bugs too. My number one bait right here. Made that mold out of plaster. Anyway, running low on plastics. This is all uh, leftover stuff that I have, so I'm just messing around with my leftover plastics. Probably going to buy some more plastic all here in like another month. Maybe a couple more uh, molds from Do It Molds. That's where I get all my stuff, all my colorants additives um yeah anyway ambassadors 2018 we're out